G'day aspiring engineers. In this video we'll compare Fusion 360 and Onshape. You might have noticed that in my survey of the CAD software market I was recommending Onshape but then you probably noticed that I'm focusing exclusively on Fusion 360 for all of the work that I'm doing in CAD here. Why would that be? Why would I do such a backflip? Stick around, let's find out. Fusion 360 and Onshape have some similarities and differences. They're both pretty new, they both have an up-to-date user interface and they're both in the lower end of the CAD market where price is concerned. I think they've both got enough features to compete with some of the mid-range CAD programs. So what we want to do is we want to look first at uh, some trends in the industry. Then we want to look at a short history of Fusion 360 and Onshape. Then we want to talk about how they handle your data. Then we want to talk a little bit about the user interface for each of them, some plugins and add-ons. They both have the ability to work with plugins and add-ons. Then we want to look at help and support. Uh, then we want to talk, make a few comments about pricing. And then I'll finally wrap up uh, and update my recommendations. Alrighty, so first of all, uh, trends in the industry. Here's a chart that I got from the Upfront eZine, which is a newsletter put out by Ralph Grabowski. And in 2015, there was a company that did a survey of the CAD market around the world, and this is what they found. And they're looking at uh, trends in the technology of uh, computer-aided design. Up here in the, uh, the top right-hand corner, you can see that uh, this is things that companies are using a lot and things that they think are very important. So 3D modeling is very important and used by lots of companies. On the other end of the scale, not very important and very seldom used is pay as you go. Uh, and that's talking about the way that CAD software is licensed. And it just so happens that Autodesk, the owner of Fusion 360, uh, Autodesk have a lot of software and a lot of programs and they're moving all of their software towards this pay-as-you-go model and it's very unpopular in the marketplace. But uh, anyway, there's some other things here in uh, the important and high usage areas. That's simulation, uh, product data management, and this is where you have a vault and uh, your CAD, uh, CAD models are stored away and archived very carefully and the idea is to stop uh, redesigning the same thing many times over. Mobile access to CAD, this is becoming very important in residential construction. I know building companies that are using uh, mobile devices, tablets and mobile phones and they want their tradesmen to be looking at the CAD model while they're on site. Building information modelling is another important area. Uh, advanced real-time rendering that's uh, becoming much more popular in architectural uh, work. Uh, 3D printing that's uh, not quite as uh, not not seen as quite so important these days. Not really uh, high usage, but it's still promising. Uh, and then uh, things like outsourcing overseas, cloud-based CAD, uh, open source, big data, uh, AR, and virtual reality. Those are interesting te technologies, but the, the actual companies that are doing the work, that the people that are using computer-aided design software, companies that are producing products, are not using those things nearly as much. So 3D modeling, simulation, those kinds of things, that's where the action is. Uh, these other ones are not quite so important. And you'll notice that cloud-based CAD is also uh, not seen as very important and is not being used very much in the marketplace worldwide. Right now the history. So uh, three years ago in 2018, uh, there was a great deal of excitement about the cloud, working in the cloud, and uh, the CAD industry was no exception. And so uh, there was a group of ex-SolidWorks employees, uh, and they got together and uh, they landed about $64 million in funding, well, $144 million, according to Ralph Grabowski in his industry newsletter. They released their Onshape modeler earlier that year the first uh, web-only, seriously 3D CAD program. Now, Autodesk, uh, the makers of Fusion 360, were also wanting to do this and they are wanting to build a direct modeler. Uh, they were looking at uh, cloud uh, options for their Fusion Inventor software uh, and then they eventually ended up 
separating out Inventor and Fusion 360 and uh, so Fusion 360 is now five years old. Now let's talk about how these two programs handled your data. So uh, let's go and have a quick look at uh, this is the this is the back end of uh, Onshape and here you can see where all your data lives. Now all of this stuff is actually public. If you're on the free plan with Onshape then uh, everything that you do is really available to the whole world. You know what, I can't really imagine why anybody would want to go and have a look at these kind of things, these educational pieces. Not so good for a business though if you've got intellectual property to take care of, but then they're not really looking for uh, business uh, to give them the free plan. Now here's what uh, Autodesk Fusion 360 looks like, and uh, these parts are on the cloud as well. But uh, that's not a really big problem for a student. Fusion 360 also is giving you some uh, special uh, space on the server. There is some security there. They also have given this, uh, given you a white paper here where you can find out about the details of subscription. There's a security white paper there that you can read about and it's got a level of uh, security there. Now if you're uh, using uh, Onshape, if, uh, it's because it's a completely web-based, it's in the cloud, and uh, everything's happening in the browser, that is your web browser. If you've got any interruption to your internet connection, then you're not working. But with Fusion 360, it is a download, and you can store your, uh, uh, you can store your, your work locally, and, but it will sync with the, uh, the cloud service at the maximum of two weeks. I think it's two weeks and then it will stop working. Uh, as I say, it's uh, got some security and it is your work, it's private. And you're working on your co desktop computer. The software is a download for Fusion 360. Uh, that is different than Onshape, which is all in the web browser. Now let's look at the user interface for these two. Here's Onshape. It's, uh, it's nice, it's modern, it's uncluttered. Very little uh, stuff going on here compared to the mid-range and upper-end CAD programs. It's a pleasure to use. It's very nice and it's very well designed. Here is Fusion 360. Again, very well organized, very well designed, a minimum of clutter. It has all the things that a modern CAD system has. On the, uh, on the right-click menu, you've got this smart cursor. There's all sorts of things going on. The S key works beautifully, uh, the same as in in Onshape. So uh, here we are in Onshape and when the S key comes up we've got context sensitive information right there at the cursor and uh, this is uh, where CAD is going. It's, it's, there's no hunting and picking through menus. Uh, you don't even have to go up to the toolbars above. It's all right there. So uh, they're both sort of uh, they're both uh, pretty even as far as the user interface is concerned. Right next both Onshape and Fusion 360 have plugins, add-ons and extensions. So in uh, Onshape here, there's a button up here with App Store and uh, that takes you to the, uh, to the Onshape App Store and you'll see that uh, there's a whole lot of stuff here. Plenty of uh, ways to extend the capabilities of Onshape. Uh, there are, uh, let's have a look at some of these. We've got uh, various kinds of simulation, uh, we've got mathematics, rendering, uh, more rendering, uh, there is some uh, machining stuff here for CAM, uh, more simulation, uh, different ways of exporting for 3D printing, uh, some uh, high-end surfacing capabilities, uh, all kinds of uh, simulation there. So plenty of uh, extensions for Onshape. But also three, uh, Fusion 360 has uh, has uh, add-ons and extensions and you can see those here in this drop-down menu where, where you go to the Fusion 360 App Store. So here's the Fusion 360 App Store and there are categories and there are just an awful lot of stuff here. And here's my favorite, SimScale. We'll be talking more about that in the future. But uh, both of these programs, Onshape and Fusion 360, have an enormous uh, range of extensions that you can use. Some of them are paid, some of them are very cheap and there are a lot of free ones in both cases. Next thing we want to look at is help and support for both Fusion 360 and Onshape. Now when I'm working, uh, and for instance I'm here working in uh, Onshape, the first thing I'll do when I get stuck, and everybody does get stuck from time to time, so what I'll do is first off take a quick look in the, uh, the help text. And with Onshape, this is what it looks like. 
sometimes you can find what you're looking for, but often I draw a blank with these uh, kind of online help files. Uh, the next thing I'll do is go straight to YouTube and look for a quick video. Uh, then, of course, um, Onshape does have a learning center and there's lots of uh, courses here. We'll come back to this in a minute. The third thing I normally do after I've had a quick look in the text and looked in the uh, in, on YouTube or for a quick vi quick video fix, uh, the next thing I'll try is a forum. And Onshape has plenty of forums. So this is what the forums look like. There are lots of categories of forums, and you can see by looking at these forums that uh, there's an awful lot of them, and there's plenty of people uh, responding to these forums, and I usually find that you can get an answer within a few hours. Uh, so that's a great way to get help. Okay, the same thing is true for Fusion 360, and you can see uh, from the little drop-down here, you can well, there's a search box there, and you can access the text-based help by just clicking in that search field and uh, searching for a question. The next thing uh, I would be doing is uh, looking for YouTube again and, and so here's a whole lot of uh, video material and uh, there's an awful lot of stuff in Fusion 360 which is uh, great for absolute beginners uh, and a lot of this stuff is really good. Um, and also uh, Fusion 360 has the same thing. There are thousands of people on the forums for Fusion 360 and if you've got any question at all I'm sure that you'll get uh, a lot of people looking at your question and offering some help. So uh, both. Fusion 360 and Onshape have got all of the things that I'm usually looking for in help. But there's a whole other level of uh, help and support that uh, really makes a difference. And that is uh, uh, this kind of um, video courseware. And uh, in Onshape, there are a lot of them. And there are quite a lot of uh, expensive ones where you've got an instructor teaching people online at a distance and they seem to be tailoring their, their training offering for that kind of customer. Very little of this is for first-time beginners. Not quite the same with Fusion 360. Let's have a quick look at the Fusion 360 material. So you can see here that uh, there are some courses here. This is all free stuff and uh, it goes to all kinds of uh, advanced topics but it uh, takes you from the very beginning uh, getting started for absolute beginners and so you can uh, spend many hours learning all of this good stuff. So uh, Fusion 360 is a little bit more geared towards the first time beginner, the student, the hobbyist, and Onshape is perhaps a little bit more oriented to business and to converting people from existing CAD programs over to their, uh, their online platform. Now the last thing we want to look at before I wind up and give my recommendations is the price of Onshape and the price of Fusion 360. So here we are at uh, Onshape's pricing page and you can see that to begin with it's $1,500 per user per year. Then there is a couple of business options there, $2,100 per user per year or for an enterprise $20,000. So uh, Fusion 360 is quite a bit cheaper, it's about a quarter of the price for a one year subscription for uh, just a single user, $385. Oh, well, that's Australian dollars. And then for two years, 770 or three years. Both Onshape and Fusion 360 have a free version and this is where the big difference is. Onshape used to welcome anybody to use their platform for free so long as you don't mind having no privacy. You can't put your data in a secure private place. Theoretically anybody can find it on the web if they have the right numbers and they can find it. Uh, but Fusion 360 uh, does give you your own private space on their servers and they're much more easy going. First of all you do the free trial then if you're a student they'll transfer you to the educational license and that's ongoing for quite some time. But if you're a small business or a hobbyist or an inventor then as long as you earn less than $100,000 per year they're quite happy for you to use Fusion 360 on an ongoing basis for free. Uh, that's quite a big difference as far as I can see. So Fusion 360 is about a quarter of the price of Onshape. Onshape uh, made that change about a month ago. Uh, they changed their terms of service. So you can use uh, their free plan for anything as long as it's not commercial. The only thing you're not allowed to do is make any money out of uh, Onshape. And that's just simply the way that they're deciding to go with their, their plan. Now they also do have an educational version, a license, and uh, you can sign up for that on their website and uh, you just go through here to uh, pricing 
drop down the uh, drop down the list here and go to the education one, and that'll get you started. You just got to, as long as you're going to a, uh, a recognised university, then uh, you'll be right and you'll be able to get your educational licence with Onshape. So uh, no problem there. I would have I would have preferred Onshape over Fusion 360, but that uh, change to their terms of service has switched me the other way. And it so happens that I've spent uh, some time making a, a course in basic CAD using Onshape for basic uh, part modelling and because of the change of terms of service that Onshape have done it means that I can't sell that course anymore. However, I can give it away free. You can find the link to my free course in Onshape below. Great CAD and it's fantastic but I'll be teaching Fusion 360 from now on. And so my recommendation is Fusion 360. Now the reason why may not seem very much, they're generally both of these programs Onshape and Fusion 360 are pretty even in nearly every respect. It's just that one small little change that they did in their terms of service about a month ago. Uh, Onshape won't let you make any money out of their software. But Fusion 360, owned by Autodesk, Autodesk seems to be more than happy for you to get started. They want to help you get going and uh, that makes all the difference as far as I'm concerned. I'm much more interested in small business, hobbyists, inventors and uh, students of course. There it is, Fusion 360, go for that one. So if you like that, give that a like, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.